Hey everybody, this is Mary with Mary's Chit Chat. I am coming in with my 2019 Candle Day haul for you guys. It's a little blurry. Here we go. So I'm just going to pan over really quickly because I have quite a few of them to go through. Um, so let me just go really fast. And I got a couple of holders as well, which one of my candles that I hauled also is burning in. Um, but I'll explain all of those in one minute. Okay, so let me go ahead and start off with the first candle that I purchased. Um, so I obviously wanted to wait to get this one because I didn't really like this one when I first... Um, um, smelled it when it first came out but you know what if I'm gonna get a candle for seven dollars and sixty cents because I have a coupon for it and it's candle day I might as well try it out now this is the best time to try out candles that you've never tried before um if you really really don't like it then you can obviously return them you know how Bath and Body Works policy is they're amazing so anyway now I did go to three different stores total um called the fourth one but ended up not going into that one because it was just disastrous but I went to three different ones in my local area um one of them was a little bit farther away than the rest but you know what it is what it is it was candle day so you do what you got to do so New York cherry cheesecake you guys all know this is one of the land of the sweets um my lid's not going down and it's annoying me but anyway I'm not going to read the scent notes on these you guys because I feel like there's too many candles and I'm kind of in the middle of about to cook dinner for the kids so I'm just gonna go through these really quick okay so the first one like I said is a New York cherry cheesecake so it's your three wick 14.5 uh, ounce candles they're all amazing um, the ones that I got were the ones that I knew that I was going to be burning for the rest of this year and the beginning of next year because I did get some spring ones as well Okay, so then the next one I got was the Mahogany Balsam. My daughter actually picked this one out. My two daughters went with me the morning of. We got up really early. We were up out of the house at 4 a.m., um, already at our first store by 4.30. So, yeah, we waited in a couple of lines, and it got pretty hectic. But we survived. Yay. Um, and... Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, this is Mahogany Balsam. This one is gorgeous, white wax. Um... Like I said, I'm not going to go through the scent notes. It just takes too long. This is a beautiful wraparound. This came out during the fall season um, for their fall, winterish Nordic line, I guess. I'm not really sure. I don't know the lines and everything, you guys, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, and then I got Vanilla Snowflake, which also came out a few weeks ago. Um, this is one of my favorite scents right now, you guys. I have this in the wallflower burning up in my room, and... Excuse me, it smells amazing. So I got two of these. I have four total now of this particular candle, and I am in love with it. I didn't get vanilla balsam. I think that's why I, I need this doesn't smell like vanilla balsam. Um, it's a sweet vanilla citrusy type of smell. But um, anyway, I didn't get vanilla balsam, so that kind of made me sad. Um, but, you know, vanilla snowflake, good enough. So I got this one. This came from the same collection. They're both in the same collection. I got. I finally got my hands on the Mary Cookie. I got a second peppermint marshmallow, which is one of my, um, another one of my favorites. They're all three wick, obviously. Okay, so I got those. And then also from the same line, I got Spiced Gingerbread, which is now my third one I have of that. And then my Sugared Snickerdoodle. I can't even count how many sugared snickerdoodles I have because I have it in this packaging. The um, uh, Land of Sweets, I got it in the fall packaging. Um, I have one in, I think it was last year's packaging. I can't remember. But anyway, that sugared snickerdoodles, everything. That thing gives me life. It's amazing. I got one standalone um, black tie, you guys. This is my first time trying black tie. Um, I hear a lot of, I think there's a glare on my camera. Give me one second, you guys. I'm going to clean off my camera. Okay, so sorry about that. My camera was dirty because now you can really see. So I got black tie right here. Um, it's my first time getting black tie, like I said, but I could not get over the packaging. Like, I love it. And the black wax, it was just beautiful. So I got black tie. And then I got these three in the same 
kind of packaging. I don't know if this was last year's or whatever it was, but I got creamy nutmeg, merry mistletoe, and red velvet cupcake. This is my first time getting any one of these three as well. Um, actually, that's a lie because I got merry mistletoe a few years back. I can't remember when, but it was a long, long time ago when I was still living in California. Um, and all three of the scents are amazing to me. I love them. So yeah, got those. I'm just moving these out of the way to my daughter so she can put them back in the crates, you guys. All right, so I got this from the Nordic Collection, the Hot Cocoa and Cream, and another Frozen Lake. I already have one, but this one just is beautiful. And another thing my daughter noticed, the one that I have already, um, I think the wax is white. But this one has this beautiful ocean blue wax, which is weird because... I don't know if they just did this for candle day or whatnot, but they're both in the same kind of glass. They both have this same little hedgehog or porcupine. I don't know what's on the front, but different color wax. They smell exactly alike as well. So I don't know what's up. And the lids are different as well. But then again, you know, yesterday was candle day. So I don't know if everybody, you know, changed the lids on them because this hot cocoa and cream one matches the original one that I had. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I got those two. And then I got this simply for the packing, you guys, because I have numerous sweater weathers, but I could not pass that up. This was a packaging from 2012 from um, Slatkin & Co. when Bath & Body Works used to be with them. Um, and it was their winter candle that this new sweater weather is on so I just love it and then the snowy mountain lodge I want to try this one out it smells amazing I can't wait to burn that one so I got those and then from the pop-up collection <clears throat> I got sugared blair uh, I'm sorry you guys that came out wonky so sugared blueberry donut Got two of those and unicorn sprinkles. We originally had the cereal marshmallow bar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my daughter's with me, by the way, you guys. Kayla, say hi. Hi. So we originally had the cereal marshmallow bar, but I could not stand that cereal, fruity pebbles, kicks, whatever it was. I'm sure it smells good. I'm sure everybody's going to love it, but you guys, I couldn't. I couldn't. It's just not me. This turquoise wax is everything it's just beautiful and it smells like a blueberry donut so I think I'm gonna enjoy that one this one's just the regular white wax smells like cotton candy amazing so this one you guys I was on a manhunt I went to called two different stores went to three different ones for blueberry pie and I have one burning right over here gorgeous right and I smell it it's amazing amazing now it, I to me in my opinion it's not as strong this white barn core packaging to me is not as strong as the one that came out in the fall time. I smelled that one. Um, I didn't personally own it, but I smelled it. And to me, it just doesn't smell as strong. But nevertheless, I got three of those. Amazing. Okay. Ooh, almost dropped it, you guys. And then I got some more white barn. These ones are for the spring. <clears throat> These were out in one of the third stores that I went to. So got this one, Boardwalk. Smells just like summer Boardwalk. It has the popcorn, the glazed, uh, the glazed popcorn, the taffy, summer Boardwalk. It's amazing. White wax, your typical, you know, white barn, plain packaging, yellow. It's beautiful. Midnight Blue Citrus. Oh my God. It smells good. To me, it smells kind of like snowy citrus no. Snowflakes and citrus. That's what it's called um, to me. But I'll do a comparison on those later on. Um, I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but to me, that's what it smells like. But I still love it. It's amazing. Then I chose the pineapple mango, which, oh my God, you guys, amazing. I had pineapple mango about five or six years back, maybe even longer than that. Um, and I've always loved this one. It smells really good. And this is the one that my daughter picked out. Go ahead, Kayla. This one is Island Papaya. She wants to read you the scent notes to this one because she really loves it. It smells like a starburst to her. This one has 
tropical coconut fresh papaya sugar cane with essential oils you guys i don't know what it is about this candle but it smells like candy and it's like i don't know it just smells so good it smells like a pink starburst it really does that's exactly like yeah like a strawberry the pink the pink starburst is strawberry mm -hmm. that's exactly what it smells like now we got this one because we did not get the um strawberry pound cake there was a whole bunch of them in my store but in each of the stores that we went to but we did not like that one I could not it smelled funky to me and I didn't want that yeah it just smelled weird and I didn't want that burning in my house so for me I'm sorry I couldn't do it um one of my freebies was this guy right here it's one of the uh, the um three wick candle stands give me one of the candles it's just beautiful you guys look at how beautiful that looks and how perfect that looks all right so i do have oh and i got this other stand as well so that's the snowflakes one um so i do have um a few of the um post burns that i'm going to be doing for you guys i completely failed on my vlogmas i was going to try to do a video every day this month but life caught up to me work caught up to me the kids caught up to me. I got my parents coming in for the weekend. There's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, <clears throat> and I feel like my throat is giving up on me as well. So I hope everybody is having a great day. Hopefully everybody survived and loved and had fun on candle day. Hopefully everybody got all the candles that they wanted. And if they haven't, you can hopefully do some exchanges, some returns, some trades, you know, purchase it online, whatever you need to do. Um, candle day was amazing for us. This is my first time going to candle day. Um, I kind of attempted to go a couple years ago. Um, but it was like, it was just easier for me to do stuff online and then go back the next day and see what they had. And as of right now, I think they have a $10 off um, if you weren't able to do candle day yesterday. So there's a $10 off of all three wick candles. We went in there again today to exchange um, that cereal marshmallow bar because I could not, I could not do it. Um, and I exchanged that for the blueberry pie. Okay, so everybody, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Sorry, I was kind of wonky on that one because I'm just holding my phone. But hopefully everybody's having a great day, great weekend. Hopefully everybody had a great time doing, during Candle Day. I will come back and do some post-burn reviews. Not on any of my White Barn um, spring candles because I'm not ready for spring yet. But I will be doing one on the Blueberry Donut. I mean, Blueberry Pie <laughs> and probably the uh, sugared blueberry donut sometime soon okay all right guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later don't forget to please like comment and subscribe 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 i am losing subscribers and i don't know why so you guys got to help me out here share my videos if you'd like i know this one's kind of messy but i'm just trying to get everything done before i have to cook okay so um like i said hopefully everybody's having a great evening um and you can also follow me on my Instagram, which is going to be cozy lights underscore cold nights. All right. Thanks, guys. See you guys there. Bye.